I guess because I've been racing for so many years now, I used to have this huge anticipation for the new season. You know, you felt like this huge pit in your stomach three or four months out, you're counting down the days, and you're like, oh man, like the race heat's coming up. Like it was just very like, I remember like when I first started racing out here, at that time Fontana was like, it felt like world champs, like it was like the biggest, like the pro race when I first started, I wasn't ever expecting to race anything really bigger than that. So it was like a, a big deal, man. Orange, black or red? I've always done most of my preseason racing and stuff out here, so. Should we get to hiking? Hiking up, riding down. As your personal trainer, I would suggest that you pedal. I uh, just got to set tire pressure real quick. 27. Banging those rocks. 2731. Huh? Yeah, man, no problem. All right, well, good luck this weekend. Yo, how are you, dude? Good. How good to see you. Hey, good luck. thank you, brother. Appreciate it. How's it going, man? Good, how are you guys? Oh, yeah, heck yeah. I'll let you know. Yeah, this place, man, like, Donnie and his whole family, I mean, they've been here, I don't know, way before I started riding downhill, and they've been here the whole time I've been here, so they've kind of seen me progress from, you know, riding in jeans and, <laughs> like, just being, like, this, you know, kid up here sending it. It's uh, pretty crazy, man. Like, definitely made good friends and a lot of good memories, and put in a lot of work out here. Yeah. Pushing and riding up this road and down that hill. <laughs> Good old Fontana hike. Definitely gotta like earn your run. I have a tendency when things aren't, aren't going really well to just really try to focus and just put in a lot of work and I've never been somebody that really advertise as much as far as like what I'm doing like I'm a pretty private guy outside of racing like I just I really just like to put in work every day and just kind of in the quiet you know by myself I've always kind of been that way so I've been wide open <laughs> with the training and all the stuff constantly I just you know sometimes I think with social media especially the last couple of years there's been like so much going on in the world that for me it's like kind of nice just to step away from that sometimes and I just kind of really like spending time with my friends and my family and, and just working hard every day and kind of just in my own little world. That's the line. Call it. Yep. That's all okay. Just do what he does. That's easy. Whenever I'm met with like just really hard challenges and setbacks like we kind of have these last couple of years, I just always have the mindset to just to move forward, to problem solve, to figure out like, okay, like we are where we are. What do we do to try to make this better? I feel like we've got a lot of momentum happening right now. I'm really happy with the prototype that we have right now as far as the bike. Uh, we are able to make some gains in some of the other areas of our equipment this off season. Um, we have the finalized race prototype coming out here in the next couple of weeks that I'm going to get on. So we're just really hoping that bike is going to be everything we're hoping for. I think for me, I, I don't look too far into the future. Usually I've always tended to kind of look right in front of me a little bit more especially now so for us it's like we're moving next week um yeah it's a crazy change man i never thought i would probably move out of california full time but just that's life man big changes i just am really excited to get to tennessee 
really put in three really good weeks of training and riding leading up to France. Like I said, kind of fine tune everything, do that national race, get some time on the clock. I'm really looking forward to getting to the first race and just really seeing where we're at. I'm gonna ride with Dakota quite a bit too, my new teammate. I think the two of us can really kind of get each other up to speed and we'll be ready to rip.